Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of this film is to give a brief survey of the kind of programs which have been and are being transmitted by the BBC television service. We want to emphasize that it has been made for demonstration purposes, that is, for manufacturers and viewing rooms only. It is not intended for home reception. Most televised programs, as most of you know, are transmitted direct and not from film. We are particularly anxious that those of you who should be watching this demonstration should not receive the impression that television programs are simply televised film transmission. Since the opening of the television service in November 1936, the programs transmitted have covered a wide range of entertainment and interest. A great part of the time has been given to light entertainment, in which many cabaret and variety artists have been used. But drama and ballet have also been well represented. Opera and review have been attempted, and a variety of outside broadcasts have been carried out in the grounds of Alexandra Park. Talks by experts on many subjects have been given, with appropriate illustrations. Before passing on to show you some of the artists and speakers, as they appeared in the studio, we show you the television orchestra, with its conductor, Hyam Greenbaum. Ladies and gentlemen, the television orchestra. <laughs> outside broadcasts, golfers in action. Our visitor on this occasion is C.A. Whitcomb, who, as most of you know, captained the English Ryder Cup team last year, 1936. He's going to demonstrate various shots, and he's going to start off with a drive. So now let's get on with the show. Before you actually drive, I'd like you to demonstrate to viewers the difference between the grip used by yourself and your brother, which I believe is known as the interlocking grip, and the ordinary overlapping grip. Our grip, we turn the interlock. That is, you interlock the two fingers, placing the thumbs around the shaft. Whereas, as you know, the overlap is the little finger of the right hand overlapping the first finger of the left hand and the thumbs down the shaft. Yes, quite. Well, perhaps you'd like to drive for us so that we can see just how far it goes. I know it goes a long way. A beauty. Maquette is of silver silk oil skin. 
The bathing suit is telescopic and the depth tilts to any figure. The color is a gray, white and black in a square pattern. Betty is in a cream-colored silk oil skin with a design of muscle butterflies at the two corners. Underneath is another telescopic swimsuit, this time in red, white and yellow. Jean's leopard coat is particularly suitable for sportswear and point-to-point -point meetings. Under it, she has on a high neck dress in a tulip design of red, green, blue, white and black. Joan in a natural black and white kid coat tee. Very Chinese looking is the crepe machine Prop 100, which is finished with yellow and red. Audrey is wearing a model from the finest quality grey moire lambskin. This coat is probably one of the finest expressions of the Farrier's art. wearing a beautiful coat made from the finest quality silver fox skin. This is Audrey in a natural Canadian mink coat made in a swagger style. journey silk, patterned in green, red and gold with a white background. This attractive evening gown in pure silk flowered crepe is worn by Betty. The colors are red, green, white and blue. Here we have Jean in an embossed pique overprinted with flowers. Green floral design on a white background has a black edging. The cat is wearing a short white evening coat of Canadian ermine. This evening cape is made from the finest quality in natural white arctic foxes. Just across the street from me, there's a girl that you'll agree is queer as a girl can be, but she never was out with him. Right foot up to left foot 
and step back with the right foot onto point 11. Thank you very much. Now we will demonstrate one or two of the newer variations for our keen dancers. Thank you. 